Hello, my name is Damson. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 commentary. This one is a PvP. See, I'm I'm blue and my opponent is red. Good luck, have fun. And I noticed when listening back to some of my early replays that I was exhaling into the mic and you could hear an audible snort. I've tried moving the mic out of the way, see if that helps. Anyway, since it's PvP, oops, build a fairly standard with both on equal probes. I'm moving out first to stop walling off. He's doing the same with the first pile on with the ramp. Equal on probes. Really not much to say. So, I might have a little rant about real ID. While the people's perception of real ID. I know you don't want people to know your real life name, but what's the big deal? I know he's getting a gateway up, whereas I haven't yet. I'm doing it now. I, I just think it's a little silly. I mean, I know there are loads of people I know in real life who know my name. Heck, if I look outside the window, I'll see people in houses in the street who know where I live. How is it any different than online? Well, knowing, people, knowing people's names at least. They were both setting out scouting probes, both scouting in the wrong way. It'll take a complete mirror down, this, down the centre here. Both moving back out again. So I'm going to my second pylon up here. Whereas he's put it there. But really, I don't care. <laughs> it is a mirror. I'm slightly ahead on probes though. Now he's getting his gas, whereas I'm also getting my gas. I'm slightly ahead on the gas. And I'm scouting his base now. I see that he's got one gate getting his gas. And he's scouting me as well, seeing I've got one gas that I'm not mining from yet. And moving out with the scouting probe, whereas he's going to get a zealot to pick mine off. And I do have a zealot out now. <laughs> Eye pistol. That's quite a good little advert they put on there. In single player. Probe. He's just still around. Not anymore. Getting a second gateway up here. Did he spot that? Let's have a look. Yep, he spotted it. Oh, I'm fine transferring to get some gas up. Ah, I think that's my. Yep, that's my cybernetics core. And he's getting one up as well, and actually two gates, so he can push more units out than me. And uh, he's really not just using his chrono boost that much. And just getting his second gas up, I'm still leaving it blank. I must admit I'm rather behind on gas at this point. But I do have enough to build a stalker. And when this is up, I'll be able to research warp gate as well. He's got his first stalker already out, building a robotic core. Robotic facility, sorry. And I'm just building up more pylons to get more more supply. Don't they say supply, but it's psi. 40 out of 42 versus 26 out of 34. As you can see, I've got more probes, more zealots. Six zealots to only one zealot and two stalkers. That's quite a big advantage. But I don't decide to use it. Seven zealots now. You could say I'm a little gun shy. But I really like getting a good number of stalkers before moving out. And he's walked in a pile on there to give him line of sight of that area. You'll see why it's a good idea in a minute. 
I'm sorry about any performance issues. I am frapsing this to my hard drive, the same hard drive that I run Windows on, as I only have one in the computer. So it's not going to be too great. And I could turn down the graphics even further if it becomes a real problem. But I'd rather not. There we go. He's now using some of it to speed up his box facility, getting out of warp prism. And research warp gates. Getting up cannons now because he has his forge. Whereas I don't think I have a forge. No, I don't. And now I'm moving out with warp prison loaded with three stalkers. And this is why it's important to get line of sight of this place. Because those vents that don't seem to well, don't seem too solid, do actually block line of sight. As you can see, I've got no line of sight through it, despite the fact that a simulator should give me line of sight through there. Of course, I was completely unaware of this, as you can see. He has warp prism there, and he's going to convert those four into warp gates. But when that finishes, that's finished already. You can observe her out to scout me. Is, do I have... I don't have one up yet. No, I'm still on... I think it's tier 1 tech. Get a man, got my natural up, transferring probes. Looks like I've got way too many. I've nearly got double his probes. And there we are. He's managed to deploy there. I've got quite a sizable number of units there. I think that's seven stalkers. Yeah, I think it's all seven of his stalkers. Yep, that is. He sees I've got nothing to defend against this. Because all my troops are defending my front. Uh, he, he probably wouldn't win a direct fight, actually. Now he's bringing in uh, some more stalkers and sentry. And there we are, moving out. And picking off the workers. Ages to react to this. But finally, come on. Come on down. There we are. I finally send the workers.